Auditors warn of a crisis at the Jackson County Jail with the shortage of guards putting lives at risk. KCTV5's Kelly Taylor is live tonight, and Kelly, problems at the jail have been well documented over the last couple of years. Ellen, Brad, an auditor has been digging into those conditions at the Jackson County Jail for months now, and today he released his findings to the county legislature, and he says that there is a staffing crisis at the facility. This is a special meeting. The county hired Jim Rowanhorst in February to take a long, hard look at the Jackson County Jail. You have to do something tomorrow or today. His findings were shocking. He says during his last visit this week, he saw one sergeant and one officer supervising more than 130 difficult inmates. I don't think uh, it is a crisis situation. Staffing is below minimum, and that causes concerns for both employees and inmates. There are good people working in that jail. There are good people. And they deserve better than what they're getting. The issues at the jail are even spilling over into the court system. Difficulty. A judge says the lack of staff transporting inmates to court makes it difficult to manage calendars and for lawyers to do their jobs. We can't get you, your people, uh, now, an hour from now or today. Even sometimes we can't get them there today. Rowanhorst says some of his earlier recommendations have been addressed. Clogged toilets, human waste leaking into the building, water leaks, unsanitary mattresses, lack of cleaning supplies, and broken sliding cell doors are among the things that have been fixed. The auditor says the staffing issue is because of a 40% turnover rate, and that needs to change now. When you're looking at paying somebody $12.60 an hour to deal in the working conditions and the uh, uh, the job that they have to do. It's a difficult uh, recruiting environment. And the auditor's written report is expected to be completed by the end of this month, but he says the county should not wait until that report is handed in. Changes need to be made now. Live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.